Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. We are playing a new game, Sim Airport. It's been out for a while. I absolutely love this game. Uh, we're going to um, do the career mode. And we're going to just do the default settings here. So $450,000 worth of money. Medium map size. We're not starting from scratch. Um, we've just got the default 16 airlines. And we are doing the grants, okay? So, uh, one of the reasons I'm doing this series is I love this game, as I've stated. But there were some little bits and pieces of the game and features of it I just did not understand. And it kind of didn't explain a lot of it in the tutorial. Uh, so, I had to go on YouTube, watch other players, really do a deep dive especially in the uh staff management and the deployment uh aspect of the game um does not explain it a lot and e even some of the guys i watch they didn't really explain I, I had to watch really carefully and see what they did um and then yeah like i said i had to do a deep dive into reddit and uh some of the steam social pages on this sim airport just to get an understanding of a few items and yeah so that's where we are and we're, we're going to go through all that and i'm going to simplify it as much as possible so let's start the game okay here we go so this is a starter airport for us we're just going to press play um where are we at? So, we're going to do one or two of these grants um, every couple of episodes. And then, that's the, that's the goal for this series, is to complete all these grants and go through all the little tidbits down here. Uh, building, zoning, staff, uh, finance hub, research, operations control panel, flight management, flight status... And, of course, a government grant. So, that's the plan. I apologise. I've just ran down to grab a parcel. So, let's uh, get some flight management first. So, we've got one gate. We're going to get some money happening. So, let's start. I think we can accept... We can only accept small planes at the moment. Um, and I think... I think maybe, like... Oh, we can't do night shift at the moment. So no planes during the night. It's only, uh, what, late morning and the evening and the afternoon is all we can do at the moment. So let's have a look at that. That that might be enough. So they also do not need this amount of time to uh, to. To do what they need to do. So 90 minutes. We don't need that. Only for only for like these big planes. So when it's like 90 people. I think that might be the limit. Okay. Um, I think we've buggered ourselves up. We might have to open up a gate to be honest. So to adjust the, uh, the amount of time a plane stays at the gate. You need to get the cursor. At the right end of each of these uh, little sections until it goes like the arrows pointing each way then you hold down the left mouse button and then you can drag and then you can see up the top there layover duration okay um, so we want about an hour and a half that's that's long enough for for flights like 90 people anything like this one uh, this one tells us uh, it's 140 people maximum, okay? So see that? It says Aero Time Flight 681111 B737, and it says 140 people. That's how many can fit on the plane. But that doesn't mean that's how many are going to be on the plane. There could be just 100. There could be just 90. It really depends. So these ones we're going to keep at a two-hour for the moment. 19? No, 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 no. This can go right down to one hour, okay? We can slide that across. This is 140, so it's going to need the maximum time. What's this one? This is 19 as well, so let's 
let's close this down to an hour layover. We're going to come back to that. So that's 90, so that can be an hour and a half. This is 75. I think we can we can close that down to an hour, I reckon. We can have a look at that. That's 19. That can definitely be an hour. And then we can leave a little gap there. And that's 19 as well. So we'll, we'll keep that as an hour as well. Okay, and then we're going to have a little gap. So that's fine. We just need to fix this one. So I think we need a second gate. So let's do that. Please, guys, any questions in anything I discuss in each episode, just leave down the comment. I read everything and I respond back to as much as I can, okay? So to build this, it's, it's right here. We just go to objects and then here's our gates, okay? We want, we can only do small at the moment. We do not want remote, okay? This small aircraft gate is the one that attaches to the airport, okay? And we just press R to rotate, plunk that in right there. Uh, let's increase our workers as well. So we've only got two workers, we want 10, okay? Now grants are really important in the beginning because that's how you make most of your money, okay? Um, we are going to get to a point where we're going to be making enough money that we don't really need the grants, but we're going to do all of them anyway. But um, I'll let you know when we get to that point. So at the moment, we're not going to have any planes coming in for this first 24 hours, okay? It always starts off at midnight. So any changes you make before midnight will be implemented in the next day. Okay, but if you make a change at two o'clock in the morning, nothing, nothing's going to happen for that first 24 hours. You have to wait for the next day. Okay, so that goes for anything like if you build a, a shop, if you build a cafe, no stock will be added to that shop or cafe until midnight. Um, and then, yeah, same for flights. So we're going to do a queue for both the ticketing and security, okay? So you start on expand queue, the green plus sign, and I always like to do a one tile away from whatever I'm doing, okay? So one tile away, and then we're just going to snake it down, and that's fine, okay? Um, and then we just copy. We just copy the same thing, and there we go, all right? Now, what we need to do, this, this isn't the end. This is not the end. The customers will just go straight to the desk. Or they'll just bypass this whole security. What you need to do, you click on the ticketing desk. Go to assign. And then click on Q. And this is going to be for coach and first class at the moment. Okay. And then we close. And then this assign is already open. So all we need to do is just click. Go to assign. Assign to this queue, and then there we go. So it's it's linked. It's linked now. And we're going to do the same for this. We need to click on this uh, ID check stand, go to assign, and then assign now. And it's going to be for everyone at the moment, okay? And then we just get rid of that cross, okay? So these are all little things you need to do in the beginning. Like, even before we take on any of these grants, we need to do these things, okay? So... We've got baggage claim. At the moment, our workers will be transporting luggage from here over to the gate, okay? Because we don't have a, a conveyor system for the luggage. That's that's further down the track, okay? Plus, don't get too excited about spending a whole lot of money, okay? It's not it's not necessary. I can't talk. It's not necessary in the beginning, okay? So we have toilets on this side of the security. And then we have toilets after security. Super important. Okay, super important. So this is telling us now that one or more accepted flights are not scheduled yet. Click on the schedule uh, to schedule them now. And that's just this bad boy here. So we're going to put him down. He is 140. Why won't that go on there? Invalid. Yeah, because I haven't connect. Oh, it's not on. They haven't built it yet. So that's what's happening there. Now... 
we're going to go to objects we're going to go to operations and this has everything to do with the operating of the airport so uh, flight displays escalators anything to do with baggage handling scanning security officers uh, communications for the PA system reception desk speakers everything is under this bit okay so we want we want the agents gate we're going to click it exactly the same as a, this one here okay um, I just always type door I'm guessing it's under construction maybe but yeah I just type door all the time so we need that and let's get some uh, let's get some windows happening so our customers have something to look at okay and then we're going to need a queue. We're going to need a queue for these uh, agent gates as well, okay? So it's going to go from this side, okay? And that's it. That's all we need because it is just small flights at the moment. I think our highest is 140. And I, I tell you, it's not it's not going to get to that, okay? Because our customer satisfaction is only at fifty percent, and the the um, airlines only like us fifty two percent, okay? So that's not going to happen. Uh, so what we need to do now, this says requires at least one gay agent to be assigned. So it's exactly the same as when we were linking the queues, okay? So. We need to wait for this to be built, but we can do it here. So this is already linked to this gate. We're going to do it for this one once this is built. But we can assign this queue to this agent's gate and then done. The people will line up and um, board. So there we go. Um, so everything for here is fine. Okay. We've got the ticket in. We've got toilets. What uh, What is a massive lifesaver? This this is the hottest tip I can give you right now, okay? Go down to Objects. Go to Operations. And get these bad boys. Ticketing Kiosk. Okay? So we're going to pop them here. Um, we're going to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then another 5 on this side. Okay? Now, at the moment, um, we don't need to add this to the ticketing area, okay? They're still going to go here. So what if we didn't have these, every single customer will come to ticketing desk. So if they're popping on luggage or not, they would have to go here. And your line gets massive, okay? Pretty much only 25 to 40% of your customers actually need to go to the ticketing desk to put luggage on your plane. The rest of them don't, okay? And we'll see that when a plane comes in, it will say uh, 30 passengers and they're only loading like five pieces of luggage, okay? So having these kiosk desks, these ticketing kiosks, stops our customers lining up. They just go straight to here, straight through security, okay? Massive help. I, I cannot... I cannot tell you more like this is what you need to do okay you need these now we, we, we're gonna need some some food so let's go to retail these vending machines are our best friend at the moment okay so we're gonna do a food well that's a drink we're gonna do a food an electronics vending machine okay and then we're gonna do the same on the other side of security uh, drinks, food, and electronics vending. And then go all the way down here to phone charger station. Okay. So we're going to do two here after security. And let's do two here. Okay. Now, we've got a bit of money. So what will happen at the moment Okay, now you can leave this if you want, but I like a bit of realism. So usually what happens when you you enter an airport, you go through security, and you're in the secured area now, okay? When 
po uh, passengers get off the plane, they will walk through your security now to exit because that's the only way they can go. And the game allows that. But we can do a separate exit which stops the passengers going back through security. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to do foundation. And we're going to expand that to about there. Okay, foundations are super expensive. So just be careful in the beginning. Because I think we had like 400,000. That's, that's about 100,000 to build that. Okay, and it doesn't matter if there's a war here. Your, your workers find the, find the way there, okay? That's a pretty good thing about this game. You don't need to have hallways or doors for them to access areas, kind of like in Prison Architect. You need to have a door before they'll finish the construction. Don't need that in this game. It's pretty good. Okay, so... Um, we need to assign this desk to this gate and also to this queue and that's done okay uh perfect so it's one o'clock in the afternoon so we're still got until midnight to implement all these changes so now we can um go to flights we can add this now so we can pop that in there and we can accept a few more flights actually we can accept maybe like two more here in the late morning. And then we can definitely take on maybe four more for the noon onwards. So we've got some small planes here. We can do one. Uh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. We can only accept 10 flights at the moment. Yeah, I forgot about that. Now that is 140, so we're not going to change the layover for that. Now... To get more flights, we need a AC tower, I believe. ATC tower, okay? Um, now, I suggest you don't put it anywhere near this uh, runway because we're going to need to expand this to get larger flights. And I do tend to build a bit further out. So I, I just pop it here for the meantime, okay? That's fine. That's a lot of money too. How much was that? 30,000. 30,000, okay? We still haven't accepted any grants. We're just getting ready. This is just the basics to get ready, okay? Now, we've got some uh, machines to keep our people entertained. And um, that is an important thing. We'll see that when our first customers come in. But we need some seats. So let's go to Objects, uh, Comfort. Um, we need some bins, and, and adding bins is a, a uh, requirement for uh, one of the grants. So we can, we can add a couple now. Uh, we can add a few in the toilets as well, because our, our customers are super messy. I guarantee it. We can do two here. That's two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, I believe, is the requirement. Okay. And then seat wise, let's I usually do these benches, but these ones we can adjust. We've got a three seater, a four seater, and a two seater. So let's do the black ones. It's kind of luxurious as well, right? So let's add a couple here. Um yeah, I kind of like to have a two space between between stuff. So let's put a seat here. We can put a couple down here. I'm just being pedantic, guys. I like to keep things kind of symmetric. I like to try. Um, there we go. Now, we also need some visual and uh, audio displays for our customers to keep them uh in the no so let's do one here uh, let's do one here when they're coming through security one here we can do two at the back here we're going to add more ticking ticketing um what are they called ticketing desks ticketing desks there, there we go we're going to do more at the 
Yeah, it's down the track. But this is perfect. This is perfect for a starter, okay? I think... Let's just get some um, beautification happening. We need decor. Now, plant-wise, I usually just use these two decorative bush boxes. Uh, sometimes these statues in, like, the um, first-class rooms and that, but I, I'm a big fan of these plants. Big, big fan, okay? So let's pop these up. And this affects your customers as well, okay? They like beautification for some reason, so that's what we're doing Put some plants here and that's perfect now the last thing we're going to do um actually there's a few more things but last thing we're going to place are these display digital ad displays okay now you need to add these where there's a high amount of customers coming through so we're going to put two here okay this is the entry this is the exit um we're going to do a door here uh, because I should I sh probably shouldn't have built these here but we're going to do the door here so let's do an add display here and then when they come through security we're going to do one here and one here and I think that's enough now we make money from these displays okay we also make money from these vending machines so we can decide how much we charge okay and super easy all right so we're going to add to the drinking vending machine we just uh left click and then we just move this slider over we're going to go to seven dollars and then just go to apply all and now every single drink vending machine is now at seven bucks okay so let's do the same for food seven dollars apply to all and then electronics uh we're gonna go up to six dollars and apply to all okay now that's pretty much it in regards to uh setting up our airport in the beginning okay we're going to fast forward a little uh we're going to finish completing this uh exit i'll show you what you need to do for that there's one item that we need for that to happen. And then we're ready to take flights, okay? But that's that's pretty much it. Actually, there's one more. We need to upgrade this uh, runway. So we left click, go to upgrade, and we need all these upgrades. So the ILS system, let's place that. Again, click on again, upgrade. We need the happy lights. This all helps with your planes to land in hard weather and also at night time, okay? So we need to upgrade the lights. Now, this can be difficult to figure out, oh, how, where, where am I meant to go? Is, is this right? As soon as this turns green, you can pop the lights down. So we can pop the lights down there or you can just add it to the whole, the whole one way. But as long as it's green, you're good to go. And, and that's pretty much it, okay? So, that's where we're going to leave this episode. Next one is going to uh, in, involve starting to get a grant. And we're going to do one or two every episode. And then I'm going to explain what you need to do for each one, okay? So, let's just recap. So, we've got our starter airport, okay? We've added queues for both the ticketing desk the security and the uh, the gate desk. And I've, I've shown you how to link them all together. We've added some vending machines. We've increased the prices of the vending machines and how to easily do it for all of them. We've added these ad displays to even get more money for us. We've also added some visual displays. We'll do some audio in a couple more episodes, but we don't need that yet. Um, and we've also added the checking kiosks. Super important. You need that right from the get-go. And what else? That's that's pretty much it. We've added a gate. And then we've looked at um, the flight management. Okay. We can accept more flights later on. But we need for that uh, 
ATC. Yes, ATC tower to be constructed, okay? And then this just says we require more staff, which we do, but we can have a look at that later down the road. And the delivery zone is full, but that's fine. We need, don't need to worry about that. So thanks for joining me. Any questions in regards to what we've discussed today, please leave in the comments below. I'm gonna go through everything further down the track. So yeah, even any questions that you are having issues with, leave down in the comments and I'll either discuss in the next episode or further down the track. But there we go. Thanks for watching guys. I really appreciate it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's been informative. And I absolutely love this game. We're gonna check it out. Heaps and heaps and heaps of it. Take care guys. See you later.